Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I am a data science student at Columbia University. Welcome to the NSDC Data Science Flashcards video series. The series will break down data science topics into simple terms that you can leverage throughout your data science journey. Today, we will be continue to talk about linear regression and we will cover multiple linear regression and assumptions and diagnostics in today's video. Multiple linear regression is an extension of the simple linear regression. So in a simple linear regression where we only have one predictors, well, in a multiple linear regression, we will have multiple independent predictors. For each one of the predictors, we represent them as x1, x2 to xn. And for each one x, we will have a coefficient for them. And also together with the beta zero, we will formulate it as the multiple linear regression model. There's four main assumptions for linear regression, which are the linearity, the independence of errors, constants, variance, and also the normality of errors. It's important to diagnose those violations of assumptions before we do any linear regression modeling to ensure the accuracy of the model. So for the linearity, we can plot the uh, scatter plots of x and y, and for the Constant variance, um, residual plots where the residual versus the predicted values can be very helpful. In order to check the normality, we can plot a QQ plot of the residuals. And finally, for the independence, um, residual plots can be helpful in this case as well. In summary, residual plots and statistics test can be helpful to identify the violations. And in any case, that there is a violation, it's important to do the data transformation um, to help us ensure the accuracy of the model. This is the end of the third part of the linear regression videos. I welcome you to follow along with the rest of the NSDC data science flashcard video series to learn more about data, data science pipelines, data science assets, and additional topics to support your journey. I will see you in the next one.